Well, I know this is not a great look, but we are here in higher Saudi Arabia at the top of the mountain. It's maybe five or six degrees and thus, whew, and thus it is freezing cold. I'm wearing gloves. Yes, this is Saudi Arabia. For those of you, you know, um, definitely would hear that Saudi Arabia is one of the hottest places in the world and definitely in the summer it is, but in the winter it is absolutely beautiful. I have a hair stuck on my face, <sighs> but, um, I wanted to make this vlog because I'm coming towards the end of my sort of five, six month retreat in the Middle East where I started working in different places, traveling all around. I see places that I never seen in Qatar, in Saudi Arabia, in the UAE where I used to live all my life. So it's just, you know, even though I wasn't somewhere very new, right? Saudi Arabia is a new country as experience. Qatar is a new country that I experience. I feel like it really inspired something in me it lit something in me and as i am Karalius, the guy trying to sing a song from every country in the world from no matter where i am like even here in the desert i'm doing these kind of videos trying to sing a song from every country today i just recorded number 95 which is angola but all i know is one thing i love i absolutely love exploring like in every single thing i've done in the desert or that i've done even on this trip here it's things like this going up the top of the mountain, putting myself into scenarios where I never thought that I would be, you know, like raising my heart rate by just like allowing myself to do things that I would always be scared to do as a kid, for example, or trying to talk to people in Portuguese, for example, because I'm learning Portuguese right now and I know that I'm bad at it and I know that, you know, they can possibly make fun of me, but it always goes well. It's like I just grew up as a person who was always worried about something was always like you know fuck what's the worst case scenario that could happen and i would always plan for worst case scenarios but by doing things that i don't need to do but i know that scare me make me uncomfortable push me out of my like by doing those things i just you know like you add a new layer to yourself i don't know if you've ever tried it but if you've never tried it, adding a new layer to yourself by getting out of your comfort zone is possibly one of the best things that you can do. You, you feel feelings that you've never felt before. And I guess that's what I want to do. Like, if you look at this video where I was randomly doing an interview at the FIFA World Cup with a Senegalese guy, just asking him, you know, what was your prediction before the Senegal-Ecuador game? Then I asked him if he spoke Wolof. In Wolof? Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I can only sing in Wolof. Well, must be Mom Tay 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 Mom and everyone wants to travel the whole world. Everyone wants to try and do it. But I think the beauty of it is everyone wants to travel the world in their own way. Everyone wants to create content about traveling the world in their own way. And, you know, when I say travel the world, there are hundreds of different things that could be layered under that. But all I know is if there's one thing I'm guaranteed that I want to do. It is to explore and through that exploration, create moments for people that in their lives are one of a kind, are once in a lifetime once in a lifetime moments, things that you wouldn't even have expected. Like those moments when you say, man, 15 minutes ago, I, I was bothered. I didn't even know where I was going. And now my life has completely changed. Those moments are what I'm looking for. And as I hope to finish the Every Country Challenge in 2023 at 95 countries, so if there are 195 official countries by the UN, that means 100 more countries to go. I'm almost halfway there. I don't know if I'll do the non-recognized countries or not at this stage. You know, it's going to be, because it is a very sensitive topic too. But I would like to, you know, explore as many languages, regions, locations that I can. And yeah, that's just kind of what this video is from Haile. I'm going to have, you know, some different videos that... Uh, I'm getting from all around Saudi Arabia as I'm here at the Dakar rally, which I didn't even mention, but um, I'm here at the Dakar rally 
Um, maybe you can see all the way there. That's our bivouac. So Dakar Rally is where different types of cars, you have ATVs, motorbikes, trucks, uh, SSVs, light prototype cars, and classic cars all try and go through a certain type of terrain in a rally. And in this case, it's the desert in Saudi Arabia. We've just moved from Yanbo to Al Ula to Hayal, and tomorrow we're going to Al Dawadmi. So, you know, Keep out on the lookout for this uh, kind of two-week living in the desert thing, which I'll post hopefully when I'm back in Australia where I actually live. Um, yeah, I've been Karalis. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you didn't, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's grow this account. Let's just change the world in my own way, in my Karalis way. And, and let's all connect together.